Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Wednesday. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. And now it's time for our birthdays. Happy birthday today to Brooke Castle in our fourth grade and Rafael Zavala in our third grade. Okay, so how are you today, boys and girls? Hmm. So for the Get Smart show today, by the way, this is the first time this has happened. We have a teacher on the Get Smart show. We have a project by Miss Checo, and she did a project on blue whales. So here's what happened. She told me the story. Somebody sent her a photo of the heart of a blue whale, and it really got her thinking, wow, I don't know much about blue whales. I'm going to do some research. I'm going to find out. Now, here's the photo that she got sent. Look at the size of that. That's the heart of a blue whale. Now, does anybody know how big our hearts are? Yeah, they're about the size of a fist. So if you can make a fist right now, that's about the size of your heart. Your heart was right here. Of course, you can have a huge heart and that means that you're mighty kind. We're talking about the one inside your body right now. Well, the blue whale, could you imagine this? The blue whale has a heart that is 400 pounds. 400 pounds. That's very heavy and very large. And that is a picture of what it looks like. And if you want to see what the size of a blue whale is, take a look at this. Look at how large that is. There's a person you can see. I don't think that's Miss Checo, but by the way, Miss Checo does love the water. She was a swimmer and a diver, and now she's a surfer. Anyhow, so the heart weighs 400 pounds. Well, then how much does the whole whale weigh, right? I mean, if just the heart is 400 pounds, how much does the whole whale weigh? Now, when you're thinking about 400 pounds, hmm, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say this wrong, but I would think that'd be like having maybe more than two Mr. Minervas right next to each other. And that would be about 400 pounds, like one Miss Minerva, a second Miss Minerva, and then a little bit more. That's how big the heart is. Like, wow. All right. I hope I'm close on that. <laughs> okay. But do you know what the largest animals to ever live on Earth are? You probably think dinosaurs. Nope. The blue whale. True. And a blue whale, again, so if the heart weighs 400 pounds, how much does the whole whale weigh? You ready for this? 400,000 pounds. Now, a car, a regular car, weighs about 2,000 pounds. This is 400,000 pounds. 400,000. Does anybody know how many cars that weigh 2,000 pounds 
car weighs 2,000 pounds, how many cars equal 400,000 pounds? I think one of our fourth or fifth graders can figure this out. Let's see if they can. And how about this? The blue whale's tongue, just the tongue, weighs as much as an elephant. Wow. So I learned a lot about the blue whale. I don't know about you. And I'm kind of curious now about the blue whale even more. So I'm going to do my own research on it. But that's the cool thing about getting smart. Just a little picture anywhere can make you think and then get smarter about that. So nice work. And speaking of today, just uh, as a reminder, so we're into our hot lunches. And so today we have the cheeseburger, we have a grilled cheese, and we also have our traditional bagel with cheese sticks. And as we keep moving forward, we'll be adding to our hot lunch menu. Okay, so now boys and girls, it's time for our mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Da, da, da. So this one is coming from Miss Golden. She sent me this email and I have to share it. So here you go. She said, I had a mighty kind moment. Here's what happened. One of the boys in her class, Hunter, was selected to bring books to Miss O'Neill. Now here's what Hunter did. He was allowed to choose a friend to go with him. He selected a classmate that did not have a library book to place in the bin because she was absent when the children got the books. So Hunter selected to go to see Miss O'Neill. And who wouldn't want to go see Miss O'Neill, right? He gets to choose a friend. He chooses somebody that didn't even put a book in the bin. Why? Because she wasn't in school. He chose her. Why? Because he didn't want her to feel left out. See, that is mighty kind. Mighty kind is thinking about how other people feel and then changing it by filling their bucket. So he could see, man, she may feel a little left out because she doesn't have a book to put in the bin. I know she can go with me. Now she's a part of it. That's mighty kind. Good job, Hunter. And boys and girls, each one of us has the ability to be mighty kind. Why? Because we're mighty minds. And every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.